Oh my goodness. <laughs> I swear guys, it has been like forever since Resident Evil came out and it's like, oh my god, it's like finally, it's finally over. I mean in the freaking past, what was that? I think it's been like what? Three movies? I think this is considered the third one. Has been complete shit. So, so let's go ahead and let's see how this one turned out. Hi, I'm Albert. Hi, I'm Danny. Hi, I'm Jazz. Hi, I'm Toby. Welcome to Gamer State. Resident Evil, the final chapter. Thank God it's finally over. And I, and I will say this though. I, I, I was a fan of Resident Evil. I, I, I liked the first one. I liked the second one. You know what? Even the third one was like okay-ish. But the last two. And then I'm also going to include this one as well. So the last three. I'm thinking anyways. Afterlife. And that was another one. Shit, I don't even know anymore. I mean, there's just so many of them now. Either way, guys. Freaking. They have been complete shit. And this one, <laughs> this one does, does not even freaking make an attempt to try to be better than the last one. So if you thought the last one was bad, this one is probably a lot worse, okay? Freaking, the one saving grace that the last movie had was that it ended on a real bad ass note. I mean, it looked so freaking cool where it's like they're on, when they're on the White House and they're freaking a huge ass wall and it's like, like humanity's last stand and they're like freaking armed to the teeth and there's freaking zombies and I'm assuming giant ass liquors and the flying bat looking thing comes at the screen. It's like, holy shit, this movie's gonna start off on a really badass note. This could possibly be they're gonna go balls to the wall with a great at least beginning to the movie and we do not get that nowhere near do we get that it's like they completely freaking forgot what happened in the last movie hell I'm, 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 I'm they also freaking forgot the lore to their own franchise they freaking forgot what happened in the in the other movies where it's oh uh, hold on I need to calm down a bit oh my goodness I have never seen such incompetence well actually it's not true I've seen it other times but Sweet Jesus, no way did uh, did anybody at all like look back at the other movies and say, you know what, I don't think this matches up quite right. But, uh, I mean for example, like the doctor that was in, I think it was Resident Evil 2, like he made the T-Virus for his daughter so she can like, then they change it around, it's like now, is it, no it wasn't that doctor, it was this doctor and it was because of this daughter and it was like, what? <laughs> what is going on? But moving past that, I mean, again, you have some bl like you have Alice, which I mean, you have Alice and Claire. I, I, uh, yeah, Claire, and it's like they do okay, they do okay, but it's not good enough. Okay, they, the rest of the characters are just oh, like bad and like just, just they don't bring anything. They don't bring anything. And the last one, you can say, well, they had these. Characters and they were like pretty pretty big characters in the in the in the, in the video game franchise and even in the movie series as well and they don't even Acknowledge that they even existed for whatever reason. I don't understand it. Maybe they don't have enough money for it It's like a big F. It's like a big F you to the fans It's like fuck you fans We don't give a shit about what you guys think because we're gonna make this movie You're gonna watch it anyways, and we're gonna make money off you and it's like Fuck you, producers! What the hell's wrong with you? Um, <laughs> so the CGI and the cinematography, and, like they're okay-ish again. But I will freaking talk about this though. The editing, I have no clue who in the hell edit this piece of shit because. My God, I have never seen, and, and you've heard about it. You, I mean, if you've seen other reviews, you know what, what I'm talking about. The jump cuts, the, the, the a massive amount of jump cuts. It's like 20 jump, it's like 20 cuts to like, to the, for like one handgun reloading. It's like, why? And they use all of them. It's like they use 10 or 20 different cuts to show every single possible angle they can possibly think of 
for one simple thing. And it's not the first time we've seen this, they've done it in the other movies as well. But this has gone, oh my god. I'm not, I forgot to say that the cinematography, I said it was okay. It's not okay, actually. It's shit. I mean, I've never seen so much shaky cam footage ever. So much shaky cam. I mean, it was like I was watching a freaking, what is it, those found footage films. It's like I was watching them, but it was like a whole lot worse. Like, a lot. It was like, no. Like, I'm not one of those people that get nauseous, but I can almost cert be certain. If you guys have a problem with shaky cam, a lot of it, don't ever watch this movie. You will not like it at all. And the way this movie ends, the way it ends, it's like, it's like a who cares. Like, no one cares anymore. It's like, if anything, I, if I have to give this thing any points, it's like, at least it's the last one. Supposedly. It could very well be, there were, they could possibly reboot the series and actually base it off the video game franchise itself. Which, you know what, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that Resident Evil is a bad franchise. You know, the first three movies were pretty good, but the last three movies were complete shit. And the last movie before this one was actually, there was in, some interest there. And the movie before that, because, you know, you actually had characters from the video game in the game, in the movie. So, I don't know, maybe they can reboot it, and maybe it can be a lot better, or it can be complete shit anyway, so. Wrapping this whole movie up guys, I don't recommend you go see this movie, like at all, just don't see it because it, it will ruin the rest of the movies, the rest of the franchise. If you love Resident Evil, I still say don't, don't watch this movie because again, it will ruin everything that the past movies have already established and you will get a headache trying to piece together or trying to like weave things to try to connect them again. It's just not worth your time, it's not worth your money, money at all, not even in a matinee, not even in the dollar movies, all right? Just don't do it. <laughs> so if I have to give this movie a rating, guys, I will have to give this movie a freaking two out of 10, guys. I have never really gone this low. I've never gone this low on any movie. At least I don't remember going anything lower than a five or a four. But this movie sure as hell deserves it. So that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, by all means, hit that like button as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel where we make more videos just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.